always, son. Okay, she's there for Friday feeding. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, welcome back. Yes, it is that Friday feeling. You're absolutely correct. It's that Friday feeling and we are back. A whole week has gone by. Can you believe it? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. Back here on the Friday. Yes, we are back. What are we doing today? Unfortunately, yes, it's raining. Rain, rain, rain all the time. I do all the dancing. I do all the mm, whatever I can do to stop it from raining. But no, it rains. Even though it's, the sun has come out today for five minutes and then it rained and then five minutes. You know how it is. But it's a typical, well, not a typical March in the UK. It's a kind of a crazy March. But that's okay. We don't worry about that sort of thing because we're inside Hangar 2.0 or as some people call it, the H2. Oh, yes. Whatever you like to call it, we are in the hangout. We're going to have some fun. And we're going to have some laser fun. Oh, yes, we are going to be burning. <laughs> Hopefully not the hangar down, but burning some sort of stuff to make stuff to do stuff. Let's do stuff. Alrighty then. Yes, as you can see, you'll see my computer screen now. We can use uh, a Mac or a PC. I'm on my Mac, as you can probably see. Um, one thing uh, that I haven't shown really is how we connected. Oh, I am just connected by a USB cable that's supplied. You, when you uh, when you first connect this, and say we're not going into mega stuff today, um, but when you first connect this, it will ask you to do an update um, and, and uh, push a certain switch and everything else. If you want to see all that, leave in the description in your comments. Sorry um, to say that. Yeah, Chris. We want to see more on this laser, on the setup and everything else. If not, there's millions of videos out there. Um, I just want to cut something to get it going to see if I'm... Um, this is my first practice one, basically. So, yes. So, anyway, so what we're doing... So, without further ado, let's uh, let's import here. So, you can see I'm going to be using 3 meter uh, pine plywood. Uh, I just want to uh, image... Uh, we get to... Some bits and pieces of my background. Yes, I want to. F yes, 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 yes. Right there, you go. Much too big. So if I just grab this, it's a bit like all Photoshop. If you used to Photoshop or any kind of thing like that, you'll you know what's going on. Now above here, you can just about see that it's it's the same width as the honeycomb, uh, the honeycomb floor that we've got uh, on the printer. So you've got to be aware of that. That when you're cutting a size, um, how big it's actually going to be. Um, so, but you've got your millimeters here. So we're not going to go into too much. Uh, about that but that's about right um, and if I just uh, select all this I want to engrave so I will engrave all that I'm happy with that so that's going to be a bit of engrave now what I would like I would like just an oval so what we'll do we get an oval around here I'm not going to go too mad just going to play about today um, just yeah see if I can get that in the center ish which is about the center and what I want to do is arrange that send that to the back or in fact send that right to the back so then I can access that and I want to cut that we're going to cut that so that's turned into kind of a blue so if I highlight all these I just want to see if I can get that a bit more center as I say you could play oh dear what's happening there that's uh I didn't get all of it so let's just let's just grab all that and if I push uh if I push uh, can I unselect yeah I can unselect that it's just by Pushing the little button that uh, raises and lowers the caps, you know, whatever you call it. <laughs> My brain is going. Yes, so there you go. So I'm quite happy with that now. I could make little circles, why not? So let's uh, insert a circle kind of here. And what I want to do is uh, we make that sort of like, uh, let's just do it by 10 mil, shall we? It's going to be made too big, I think, really. Um, you can zoom in here. So uh, let's, get, let's get that. So we want this line to line. So we want to. Get that around middle, about there, and um, oh, what's that? I don't know what that was or what I did there. That's my. Uh, it's because I've been using a PC all week. <laughs> when it comes to using my Mac, it's like Arr. so. These basically should be roughly around there. Don't have to be. I'm not really bothered about symmetrical and all that sort of stuff. We'll highlight those two, and we want to cut them out as well. So basically, hopefully, in our bit of wood, it's going to cut this out. It's going to engrave Dad's RC hanger and cut these two little holes out, which are going to be screws. I still think they're a bit too big. Um, I wonder if it's going to let me do them. It, um, no, it was do okay. I reckon if we do sort of probably five millimeters, that's more than enough, isn't it? And I'm not saying I'm not going to worry about positions. This is all a test today, really. Okay, 4.5, whatever. So that's about right now. If I look at my my wood. If we go over to the 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 cam, the laser cam, 
this is my bit of wood and it's it's not as big um, as it looks so if I actually push it down to my little grid you're looking at 200 mil by uh, 290 so I have got my laser glasses on by the way um, I, you know this could suddenly just freak out maybe who knows and uh, yeah I'll be laser so if that's about right what I want to do I need to select all and then I just want to make this a little bit smaller probably around about there I would have thought yes I would have thought so and then uh, what we could do we could process now the good thing about process it will bring it up there you go and then we can have what we call framing so I'll press the framing and it asks you to press the button so if we go over to the laser again I just want to make sure you can you can uh, hang on one second I'll get my glasses a bit steamed up so the laser sort of like is on the edge of the edge there and then I just want to make sure it's on the edge edge over here which it's not so this is where I can make jigs so you can bring like a kind of a ruler thing or something so you know if you are actually making something it's going to be all in the same so what I'm going to do there is I'm going to press this and it'll go around the actual cutting area so I'm quite happy with that so I know it's going to uh, you can move the width over obviously you know if you're actually making something you want everything to be central then you know you need to actually do things properly so I could press that again by framing I could press the button again to make sure that it's going to go around and start lasering which is going to do so back to the software so I can just uh, frame and complete lovely 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 and then I can press start now it reckons it could take 35 minutes <coughs> excuse me it could take 35 minutes but we're going to go to the mini cam yes we're going to put the mini cam on and do a bit of uh, Yes, there you go. Lasered. Oh, yes, we love that. So the machine is off. As you did see, uh, just quickly, if you actually slow the quick, you know, the whatever the video, the last video, um, I forgot to put the pipe in because I was just moving this about earlier on. Yes, so it might have got a bit hot somewhere, but I quickly put it in and it was all good. So I can move that back and lift this up now. We'll see if it's done enough to cut things out. And there you go. We have a picture in a picture. <laughs> Look at that, that's not bad. As you can see, because I've got air assist, there's no ooky marks and all that sort of lovely stuff. So let's, uh, let's put that little picture over there. And then if I look on here, has it, uh, has it, has it, has it, has it, has it there you go. Look, it's done the little laser holes. It's a bit uh, brown on here, but it could be where I forgot to put the um, air assist. But that can just be quickly rubbed down, I'm sure. Um, but there you go, look at that lovely clean edge. A nice dad's RC hanger little thing. Unfortunately, the, here is a bit, it's just the wood. It's got like the, I don't know what it is, something in the wood, a knot or something, I don't know. But I mean, if you had a clean bit of wood, but I mean, I could, it's, it's not bad. It's quite, it's not, it's not, it's about a millimeter deep. But I think that's not bad. It's pretty good for my first attempt. Don't you think so? There you go. You could own your very own dad's RC hanger bit of wood. <laughs> You know, we could, uh, I don't know, I could, um, yeah, do something. I could, I don't know, I could put some um, varnish over it and use it as a tea coaster, cup of tea ta coaster. Yeah, I could, I could have my cup of tea there and a couple of biscuits. What do you think? Someone say tea. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. All done. Lasered. Yes, and here we are. Now, I'll try to white out the camera. But if you can have a look at that, if you can see that, there you go. I did rub it down with a bit of sandpaper, got rid of the browning, which was to do with me not putting in the irises. But there you go, look at that. It's just a plaque or whatever you like to call it. I mean, the, the little holes are not in the right place, but we can stick it up there or something or stick it somewhere. <laughs> or it could be yours, yes, for $10.99 plus postage and packaging. Maybe not. <laughs> but if you do want it, you never know. So there you go, the laser, the Exel D1 Pro laser. It is awesome. And this was just a quick test. I've not used it before today. It was literally live as it could be live as it normally is on a Friday. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the amount of stress it could give you is unreal. 
but this is awesome. It is really awesome. I mean, I, I still, I was in awe in watching it. I mean, it's fantastic. It really isn't it? It goes around zzz, lasers and lasers everywhere. Um, but it does what it says on the tin, which is great. And the software is the same. I didn't really go into the software, but if you do want to know about the software, please leave in the comments and I will do a, a video about the software because it is quite powerful. It is very powerful. And if you're used to sort of like Photoshop and if you're not, and you're used to sort of other sort of like imageries or whatever else, it's pretty sort of like self-explanatory. But we can go into it and do bits and pieces. I mean, already my daughter has asked for little building blocks for my granddaughter, bless her heart, nearly eight weeks, I believe now. But uh, yeah, so her name is Autumn and she wants little blocks with a, a name, spell her name basically. Um, so we're going to be doing that. Well, not on camera, but I'll be doing that anyway. So trust me, this Christmas, everyone's going to get something that's going to be lasered. <laughs> Oh yes, it's the thought that counts, remember that. So, but anyway, back into the hangar of things. So it was all about, so now I can get plans, I can import the plans, I will scale them properly and get to know, you know, how to place things and bits and pieces on the software. And I can cut out bits of uh, bits of three mil ply or something like that to actually build a model and see how she is or through balsa, uh, probably balsa because it'd be lighter, but I'm gonna have a play about and see if we can build a plane. That I will record. Um, We'll, we won't go dramatic first of all we'll do a small one we'll do a small plane um and hopefully we'll, obviously when there's no high winds and we'll have a little play and little i don't know it's a bit of fun but that's what i want to do because obviously days like this where it is raining it's sunny for about two seconds and then rains again <laughs> it's like come on make up your mind already but anyway it's all good so next week we will be looking at the spitfire i think you know i really need to get this built while it's raining look at why the wings wouldn't fit figure out I don't know how or what I'm going to do. Maybe a sledgehammer could help. But I don't know. But you can follow me with that. So make sure you tune in next week because we're going to be doing something with the Spitfire. It's going to be working. I really need that for, ready for Paul Heckles to sh do a shakedown in that wonderful field of his and to make sure that uh, it's all working well before I take the helm. And yes, I will be flying another plane before I fly the Spitfire because that would be just crazy. Oh yes, very crazy indeed. So, but I just wait for this weather. So, hoping April is just around the corner. Another week's time in 2023, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be reversed. Old old times it used to be April showers we used to call them, but uh, not anymore. Now it's just March showers. It hasn't got quite the ring really, has it? So, but it doesn't matter. We're going to be having fun anyway in Dad's RC hangar. So listen, if you can get out and enjoy yourself, uh, then get out. If not, then get into the hangar, build something and have some fun because it's all playing with planes we prefer to fly but we like to tinker as well make it our own make it whether it be a car boat plane you name it whatever you want to do but listen thanks for popping by i do appreciate it if you haven't hit that subscribe then press the bells and the, the subscribe and everything else and if you want to become a member then press the membership and uh, you know come and join us support the channel it means the world to me everyone should hopefully have all their stickers and their lovely lanyard that's going to be the envy of many pilots already and if you want your landing yard and you want your stickers then join the memberships and we'll get that off to you today and you never know you might get some surprises at christmas that yes you will have a dad's rc hanger coaster for your cup of tea yes so anyway <laughs> if you're getting out and no matter what you're doing in rc just have fun really have mega fun but keep safe most of all be safe listen Thanks for popping out. I really appreciate it. Spending a bit of time with Dead's Arsie Hanger and myself, Chris, on this wonderful day because it's that Friday feeling. Oh, yes. See you later now. ta -da.